extra extra read all about it oh my gosh i'm really showing my age now but this is big news big big news for many years we've had consumers uh, with medical collections uh, not be able to take advantage of um, conventional loans because you know they just may not have had the ability to pay off the medical collections. Now, what are medical collections? So medical collections are when, let's say you go seek some medical service and a bill gets sent to you and you're not able to pay it. You have a couple different options of how you could pay it. You could either pay it in full, you can go on a payment plan with the doctor, or you know if you don't pay it, after a certain period of time, it's gonna to go to collections, charge off, or even judgment status. How does this affect you when you're buying a home? In this video, we're gonna address medical collections because that's probably more prevalent when it comes to the way that the doctor's offices report debts that are not, um, that are not being paid um, through collection agencies. In the past, FHA loans were the only type of loans that, or, or FHA and VA loans and USDA loans, they had a little more flexibility when it came to medical collections. They were allowed to, you know, you could overlook those debts. And conventional, you know, is, you know, typically a more favorable type of loan, especially if you're putting a larger down payment. But people just couldn't do that, right? So they had to be stuck in, a, in an FHA loan in order to buy a home with a bunch of medical collections. With this change, medical collections are no longer required to be paid off prior to closing on both desktop underwritten loans and manually underwritten loans uh, that are conventional. How does this affect you? Even if you have a payment plan set up with that medical collection, we won't have to count that payment against you. And the second thing is, is that you don't have to pay it off. This is really, really beneficial because a lot of clients do have different medical collections and regular collections. Uh, regular collections are still going to be an issue. There's still going to be some debts that have to be paid off. And when you're taking an FHA loan out, um, if you have medical uh, collections, it could be unlimited. However, your regular collections that are, let's say, your cell phone bill or cable bill or any of those other options, those debts still will have to be satisfied if it's over $2,000 on a combined balance. This does not take place until April 15th of 2023. So by the time you watch this video, uh, all of these guidelines will be enforced and in place. Now, a couple things to really look out for when you're doing this is medical collections are still going to impact your credit score. Some of the ways that you can increase the credit score when you have these medical collections is to call and see if they'll pay for deletion. And a lot of times you could either work through the collection agency or even, let's say, the original doctor that filed the medical collection. Uh, maybe you had an extenuating circumstance where you may have changed addresses shortly after because of a medical condition. And, you know, they'll typically work with those. So if you could pay for a deletion, that's going to be the most ideal uh, outcome because when those things get deleted off the credit report, not only do they delete the collection, they delete all the bad payment history that goes along with it. The second thing is, is with these medical collections, um, you know, you could have as much as you have, right? You know, so it could be uh, $50 medical collections. It could be a couple hundred thousand dollar medical collections. Not telling you to go out and just rack them up, but medical collections are definitely viewed differently than your consumer collections. So with all of this being said, this is huge news. Um, this is another thing that you don't have to worry about paying off. Uh, if it is a charge off, uh, that's also another thing that does not have to be paid off as long as it's medical related on a conventional loan. However, judgments are viewed a little differently. Judgments, you are gonna have to have some sort of payment plan you are gonna have some sort of documentation saying that, hey, um, at the end of this term, they're not gonna have the ability to put a lien on your property. If you have any questions or concerns concerning the medical bills, whether it's for a conventional loan or any other type of loan, even non-conforming loans, I'd love to help you out. My name is David Zai. I can be reached at 757-478-8493, and we are the Zai Mortgage Team powered by Nexa Mortgage. I'll talk to you later, thanks.